Hello, Curiositors. I have some bad news I want to share with all of you. I have Bell Palsy. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, I'm going to tell you. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. So, Bell Palsy is a condition that causes a temporary weakness or paralysis of muscles in the face. It can occur when the nerve that controls your facial muscles becomes inflamed, swollen, or compressed. The condition causes one side of your face to droop or become stiff. I think mine is kind of stiff, but I don't know, it might become droopy. So right now, the right side of my face is paralyzed, and I think it still might be becoming more paralyzed. I'm not sure. They say it'll go away in about three to six months, but sometimes it takes even longer to go away and other times it only takes two weeks to go away. There are some cases where it never goes away, or if it does go away, there is still some permanent damage, so it might never fully go away, which is kind of scary. So far, I've had it for about eight days. It started seven days ago on March 18th, 2020, when I was eating a sandwich. I was about to take a bite of my sandwich when all of a sudden, there was just this intense pain underneath my chin. It felt like I pulled a muscle, after a few seconds, the pain slowly went away, but I couldn't open my mouth all the way without it hurting again, and I still can't. And from that day on, the symptoms got worse. On March 20th, 2020, I thought I was having a mini stroke, and I called out of work that day, and I was slow-key freaking out. And I was going to go to the doctors, but my family didn't want me to go because they didn't want me to catch the coronavirus. So instead, they tried to call a doctor on the phone and when they were setting all that up I was doing what I do best when I have questions I was just doing research I learned that a stroke and even a mini stroke can stop after one to five minutes but sometimes they can still last longer like 24 hours or even more but at that point it's been over two days and because of that I was able to rule out having a stroke or a mini stroke. My stepmom told me that it might be Bell Palsy because her dad has that so she knows what it looks like. So I did some research and it turns out I have 15 of the 16 symptoms of Bell Palsy and at that point I knew I had it. When I was doing research I learned that it's not an emergency so I was able to calm down a little bit. I tried all weekend to get in contact with the doctor to no avail. So on Monday, March 23rd, 2020, I had no choice but to go see a doctor in person because I knew I needed them to prescribe me with steroids to help with my inflamed, swollen, or compressed nerve. The doctor just told me what I already knew, which was that I have Bell Palsy and prescribed me with some steroids, just like I knew they would. The exact cause of this condition is not known. Doctors have a theory that it might be an infection from a virus and they figured out that you are more likely to develop this condition if you are pregnant or have diabetes or if you have a recent upper respiratory infection or if you have a weak immune system or if you have a facial injury like a fracture or if your family has a history of bell palsy. Because the right side of my face is paralyzed it's difficult or challenging to eat food and to drink liquids with or without a straw. Because the right side of my lips are very weak or paralyzed. The right side of my lips and my mouth kind of feel like I just came from the dentist and they had that nummy cream gel inside of my mouth. And it's like that every day, all the time. But it doesn't really feel numb though. It feels weak or sore and I can't whistle anymore and it's challenging to say certain words and it's challenging just to talk in general because again half of my face is paralyzed and you kind of need your face muscles to help pronounce certain words like normally so now I have a speech impediment if you can't tell my right eyelid is also affected by the paralysis but my eye is not so I can still see out of my right eye and I can still move it around like normal but it's hard for me to blink and I think eventually I won't be able to blink it anymore 
So the doctor said that I need to wear a stick-on eye patch every night before I go to sleep because while I'm asleep it could dry out or I could accidentally scratch it in my sleep. As of right now I can still blink my right eye but I have to focus on blinking it which is weird because normally you just blink without even thinking about it. When I blink without thinking about it only my left eye blinks and my right eye doesn't blink or it only blinks halfway and it seems to blink a lot slower than normal. So yeah, <laughs> this is my life now for at least the next three to six months. The doctor gave me two days off from work, which was nice, but he did that after he told me the most he can give me was three days off. So uh, that was a little annoying, but it was kind of funny. And he only gave me enough meds to last 10 days with no refills. So that's interesting. Hopefully it'll go away in 10 days. I don't know though, he didn't say. Alright, that's it for this video. Wish me luck with my face. And don't forget to buy the merch. And I designed this mug. If you want to buy it, it's in the merch store. Oh, and I started selling stuff on eBay. And I'm trying to make it a business. And turn it into a full-time career. Just thought you guys should know. So if I'm not uploading as many YouTube videos, you know why. And until next time, stay curious. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright.